Hey, hey guys, doing this Dino with LAPC Networking, and today we have this all in one desktop. This is the HP TPC Q056 24 inch. And what we're gonna do in this computer, we're gonna replace the hard drive. And I wanna do this video to show you how to do that because most of the time, a lot of people crack these screens really easy because obviously you don't know how to do this process. And uh, my intention right here is just to help you to make your job uh, simpler. And that's what I'm doing this video, okay? So just follow the instructions really quick. Uh, make sure that you put something uh, like a towel or something on the bottom because you're going to put the computer facing down and make sure that you don't do any pressure into that, okay? Into the screen. So first, flip it down. Okay, once the computer is facing down, what we're going to do, if you notice right here, it has one screw that is going to create a pressure to separate the back part from the screen. And um, also, you're going to need a little tool like a spatula, a blade or something. Um, if you have any little plastic that is not too thick, that will be even better. And over here, you're going to have two screws. Probably you're not going to be able to see it because this is a sealed sticker. But if you touch it, you're going to find the area and then you can make a little hole with the screwdriver to pop it up. We're going to remove these two screws so like that we can take this out. And after that, we're going to be creating a pressure with the blade around right here. Make sure that you don't touch the bottom part, the screen part. It's just right here in this edge, okay? So I'm going to start doing that. Okay, so let's get a screwdriver. Obviously, this one, you see the sticker is, is being with a little holes right here because we previously removed it just to uh, test it to make sure that we're giving the, the correct procedure to remove your uh, drive. Now, these screws, they're not gonna come all the way out, so they're gonna get stuck in, over here. I don't know if you see. So make sure that you just loosen it up a little bit, the most that you can, until you, you notice that the screw is moving like this. Once you did that, you're gonna pull it out completely. And obviously this way, and you have the little screwdriver here. You're gonna loosen it up a little bit. Once that you see the little clicking sound, I don't know if you notice there is already a separation in this area. With that separation, you're gonna start clicking and moving this thing around on the frame, okay? So let's see. So I'm gonna get my little um, blade or spatula to create this pressure up. If you notice, I'm lifting this way. So like that is gonna come off all over the place. And then on the other side, right here, Just be gentle, make sure that you don't damage anything, and also make sure that you don't insert your spatula or whatever plastic or material that you have, like too deep, because you can damage something on the inside. Now, if you notice right here, we have the actual hard drive and the fan, so it's a perfect moment to uh, do a nice cleanup over here, because if you see how dusty it looks, so make sure that you get some compressed air like this one. You can get this dust off in Costco. It's the best one on the market. And they're not paying for this. <laughs> so make sure that you get your compressed air, blow all this area. Uh, you can remove the two screws to clean the separation between the cooling system and the fan. Once that everything is clean, you're gonna remove this screw to be able to take the drive out. And we're gonna put the new drive right now, okay? Okay, so we're going to get our compressor and blow this area. Once the area is nice and clean, we're going to take out this screw to able to remove the drive. Okay. 
and then you can just push it up to the side remove this make sure that you take these four screws to be able to put it into the new um, drive in this case we're gonna use a Samsung hard drive okay so once that you already transfer your uh, hard drive to the new little housing what we're gonna do we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna plug it in the plug-in is facing down and you just slide it a little bit right here push it down into the area put one screw or your screw back and pretty much you're gonna be do everything the same way you're gonna put first the actual little housing right here facing that way like this align it once you see that it's pretty aligned you're gonna press the edges slowly don't be too strong on the center on the screen you don't want to crack the screen make sure you clip the sides after that you're gonna tie up your screw right here it needs just a little pressure, not too much. That's it. Then you're gonna get your base. You're gonna slide it in slowly also. And you're gonna put your two screws back all the way inside. And this is gonna complete the process. After this, you can install your operating system and all that, do a nice fresh installation. Or if you clone your drive, obviously, the drive is gonna be already with your information if you clone it so I just want to do this video to help you to make your life easier just to make sure that you don't crack anything that you don't damage anything uh, just because you don't know how to do it that's why LAPC is right here to help you and to get it down for you if you don't know how to make sure once you lift it at the top you're gonna have a tiny little gap right here with that tiny little gap you're gonna make sure that you press it nicely because obviously you don't want to damage anything and it will click on the side okay all right guys thank you very much for watching see you at the next one